This is Representative Evan Goyke. Uh, this is the first video in a series that we're going to produce uh, regarding uh, the continued investment in Wisconsin on the uh, fallout, the economic fallout, and the state's response to COVID-19. Um, so just to rewind a little bit that at the end of March, the federal Congress passed the CARES Act. We've talked in videos in the past a lot about the CARES Act. This was a $2 trillion piece of federal legislation. Uh, and then in the middle of April, the uh, state legislature acted in what became 2019 Act 185, which um, made a number of changes to state law, including something that we're going to talk about today that allows us to access and spend the federal money that was in the CARES Act. So from, from the federal government to the state government, and now from the state government to the community. And this video uh, is about child care providers, and, and it comes from uh, the governor and the Department of Children and Families. So as part of the CARES Act, uh, Wisconsin as a state is uh, going to receive about $51 million in what is called the Child Care Development Block Grant. Um, under state statute, uh, uh, you can see it here, 16.54, whenever the state of Wisconsin receives a block grant like this from the federal government, uh, a procedure is triggered in state law where the uh, governor, the administration, uh, applies uh, how they're going to spend the block grant, uh, kind of the plan on how the money will be spent, and that plan goes to the Joint Committee on Finance uh, for what is uh, called a 14-day passive review process. And passive review means that the co-chairs of finance have 14 days to act, otherwise the plan as submitted goes into effect. So as of uh, Tuesday, April 28th, Governor Evers and uh, Secretary Amundsen, the Secretary of the Department of Children and Family uh, Families, has submitted their plan for the expenditure of the $51 million of CARES Act funding under this block grant. And uh, so now that plan sits in the Joint Committee on Finance uh, for action. Uh, some details about the plan. The plan uh, creates three uh, grant programs within the Department of Children and Families. So the first and the largest of these grant programs will be funding for child care centers that have remained open throughout COVID-19 and that provide child care for essential workers. Uh, now, obviously, uh, we all are aware that many people are still required and, and thank God they're still going into work, uh, health care professionals, first responders, the, the, and the like. Uh, these uh, dollars are going to be able to be used for payroll, for the added costs of, um, of health and safety within the child care facilities because of COVID-19, as well as uh, subsidy to parents that uh, are still working and are essential workers. So that's going to be the majority of the funding for those centers that are still open and operating and providing child care for uh, Wisconsin's essential workforce. The second component is for hazard pay for employees of child care centers, uh, those men and women that continue to go to work every day to uh, care for uh, the young people so that their, uh, those kids' parents can go to work and, and keep our economy running. Uh, and then the final piece, the final uh, grant uh, program will be uh, funding for child care uh, centers that have had to close due to COVID-19 but are continuing to pay their workforce. They, they're, they're continuing to pay rent, uh, to, to pay unemployment, uh, compensation benefits, and, and these businesses that have been uh, forced to shut down because of uh, COVID-19 and their operators and their employees uh, need some help as well. But as I mentioned, the, the majority uh, estimates of about two-thirds of the funding will go for uh, to those centers that continue to operate and provide care for the children of our essential workers. So as of uh, April 28th, the clock has started on the Joint Committee on Finance to act uh, or to take a position either to approve the plan uh, or to let these uh, 14 days run so that the Evers administration can implement and, and spend this money and get this money out there. Um, I, I serve on the Joint Committee on Finance. I think the committee ought to, to meet. We can meet virtually, we can have a discussion, but we really need to approve these dollars so that they can get out to the community so that workers and, and essential workers can have the stability that they need in childcare. This is a huge, huge issue. We've heard uh, from folks around our district in Milwaukee, but from all around the state that this is uh, a, a hugely needed dollars. And so the call and the ask is to convene the Joint Committee on Finance to approve the governor and DCF's 
uh, application uh, for the use of these uh, CARE Acts federal funding as I've outlined uh, for you today. If you're um, passionate about this, if you've got uh, kids in daycare or you know a family, friend, coworker uh, would be impacted by this, I strongly consider you to contact your state representative, your senator, uh, and let them know how you feel about this plan uh, so that we can release these funds into um, the economy as fast as we possibly can. I hope this helps and stay tuned. There's going to be more uh, uh, funding requests like this coming and, and our commitment is to continue to provide as much information about the substance in the process that's happening in Madison as possible. Thank you.